This college athlete is literally dying for a sip of water. He oh. frantically tries to get into this building, but the door is locked. Grant's parents oh, say he ran to this water fountain in a desperate attempt to find water, but the fountain was bone dry. His body was later found just yards away from here. People tried in no. vain to give 20-year-old Grant Brace CPR. Wow. I'm in an emergency and I got a student, he is, we found passed out. He's not moving. Is he breathing? No, I don't think so. A lot of people refer to That's him a as a gentle guy. man, Jesus. You know, he was a big guy, um, kind of intimidating to look at, but so soft and kind like a teddy bear. Grant's grieving parents, Kyle and Jackie Brace, say their son would still be alive today if only his coaches had let him get a sip of water. He was begging oh, wow. for a lot of guys. Help oh, me, please help me. Get off a Can we describe what, what was going on with Grant in those last moments as he was trying to get through the doors? It was hot. That's such a shame. It was very hot. The surveillance video showed that he was trying to get in the school to get help wasn't successful and then was found close to a water fountain um, on his hands and knees. An autopsy ruled Grant's death was preventable. The cause? Exertional heat stroke. It's inexcusable. On the day he died, Grant's parents say his coaches made him run up and down this steep hill seven times. But when yeah, Grant be became well. exhausted and begged for a water break, one of his coaches allegedly told him to keep going or he'd be kicked off the team. No, they called it punishment. It, it, okay, so that it needs to be King Mansell murder. It was a grueling murder. day of practice in this 80 coach degree get heat away with this. That's here at bullshit. the University of the Cumberlands in Kentucky. His friends on the wrestling squad made an effort at giving him water. But according to a wrongful death lawsuit, his two coaches yelled Grant needed to get the water himself. That's what? when the young man struggled to find water, now only to face a locked door. He was now panicked. He's dead. He oh, clearly that's needed happened. help. Well, they did. And he wasn't getting help from any of the coaches or any of his teammates. Grant's parents and their attorney, Jamie Moncus, sued his wrestling coaches, Jordan Countryman and Jake Sinkovitz, oh, and both. the University of the Cumberlands for wrongful death. I knew very early on there was no chance this family was going to be silent in talking about what happened to their son. I hope they get a good fucking lump sum off them, honestly. I know no matter what it's going to be, it's not going to be enough, but still. These coaches need to be put in prison. They need to, they need to be done for manslaughter or murder. They literally have fucking murdered someone now. After being like, you need to run this hill up seven times. And, you know, his teammates try to give him water. No, he needs to do it himself. Like, are the coaches surprised he fucking died? Probably not. I hope to... King God, they get put in prison. They should get sued out of their fucking ass, and actual charges should be put against them, and they should be put in prison because this is fucking crazy. Another reason why this guy is dead today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What is your whole opinion on the situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.